I guarantee you've never seen a lipless crank that fishes like this. I'm gonna show you three lipless crankbaits that will take your lipless game to the next level. That's a good bass. <laughs> you've never seen a lipless quite like these. So here we have the Swim Trex and the Swim Trex Max. They both have the auto tune system, but if you look right here, uh, the placement of the auto tune. So on the max, the, uh, the auto tune was moved, the toe point was moved further back on the bait and it's for further forward on this one. And that completely changes the way this bait swims and moves. This one creates a lot of vibration. That's why we call it the Swim Trex Max because moving that toe point back, this thing vibrates real hard. This thing gets a lot of bites. It feels a lot like a vibrating jig good vibration and when they bite it they really bite it and this one is more of a i guess you'd say more of a finesse presentation um you let it you let it fall to the bottom and this thing swims when it goes down again that toe point right there it allows you to whenever this bait as it's swimming down it'll get mostly bit when it's falling but when it hits the bottom you can rip it up and it'll vibrate when it's coming up and then uh and that's what it's really designed to do it's designed to swim down and rip up but what we do have that's unique to everything in the lipless crankbait world is the Vertrex Max. And that one is a soft body vibrating jig. So this is completely different. This sucker, it falls down and it, you can rip it up or you can slow retrieve it. And so in some of those situations where those fish, just that little extra movement triggers those extra bites, this thing right here has its days when it shines. So this has been proven in and out that this is a fish catching machine right here. So that is the third one. It's a soft body lipless crankbait. Here we are on this flat, and I want to take a second to show you how I fish the Swim Trex Max. Uh, this is a lipless crankbait, and you can reel it as fast as you want, as slow as you want. You can let it fall, and you can yo-yo it. Uh, so I like to, a lot of times when I'm trying to locate fish on a flat, I'll, I'll cast it around a lot, make long casts, and I'm constantly looking around to see if I can see some shad moving or uh, birds diving or anything that shows me where the fish might be on this flat. But I can also blind cast this bait around while I'm searching. I'm covering tons of water. You see, I got a little bit of a headwind in my face. What's really cool about this bait is I can sit there and you could, you could throw as far as you want. It's so aerodynamic, you can see it doesn't backlash at all. All. And so it's really easy to fish. You can fish it fast, fish it slow. And then if I get around some fish, then I want to try to figure out exact presentation that gets the best bite. And so it may be the one I'm using. It, they may want me to yo-yo the bait. They may, may want me to reel real slow. They may want, it, want me to burn it. And, and then that's whenever you can get in to the different lipless crankbaits that Nomaz has to offer. So whenever you're fishing a, a, a lipless pattern, it's good to have all three of our lipless crankbaits tied on because they all do something a little bit different. So a lot of times if you have one in your hand, whatever one's your, your most confident to start with the day and you locate your fish and you find a group of fish and you're catching them and you're catching them maybe on the swim tracks max, then all of a sudden you stop getting a bite, then I'll pick up another rod and that's when I'll pull out the original swim tracks. So this one is more designed to throw it out there, let it sink. It has a lot slower fall, so this bait swims when it falls. It just doesn't fall straight down, this one actually swims. So it's a slower fall and a more of a fish-like presentation as it's falling. So if you notice that you're getting bit good with the yo-yo technique, then, then try this one as well. Maybe your size will get bigger. You might catch bigger ones or you might catch more of them or you might have, they might start eating it better. Uh, if, you're, if you're losing a lot of fish and you say, man, they're really not eating the bait real good, change it up. Try the original swim tracks. And this one's made to fall and swim when it's fall and then rip it up when you come off from the bottom. Uh, and the way they achieved that is all they did was take this auto-tune technology and they moved it forward on the bait and, uh, and then change, and it's a little bit wider body design and, and that's what makes it swim and everything else. So it's just another type of lipless to throw at them. So when you're on that bite, you can feel it. It's a lot smoother vibration when it comes up. And I know when that bait's falling on a slack line, I know in my head that bait is swimming falling like this. And that's what triggers those bites sometimes. And often that'll get you your big bite in school. He's on too. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey. Beauty. 
So now let's talk about the Vertrex Max. So you're wondering what's the difference with this one? Well, you can obviously tell right when you look at it that this one has a soft body and it has a, uh, you know, you get some action out of the tail and this one falls slightly slower than the Swimtrex Max. Uh, and it's just a different look, you know, it's, it's whenever you get around a lot of fish, sometimes uh, I would imagine like if I find a group of fish and say there's 50 bass out there, I might catch the first 10 on one, pick up a different one and catch another 10 and all of a sudden they stop biting. When you're like, well, I've already thrown all my normal lipless crankbaits at them. Well, then you, you throw this one in there and this one, a lot of times it will surprise you that they'll bite this one when they won't bite any other one. And I don't know if it's just because the action in the tail or, uh, or the body, I know it's a lot of times they'll eat this one better for some reason. I don't really know why. I guess whenever they get it, they have that soft body feel to it, so they'll get it a little bit better. Uh, they don't feel like they're eating a piece of plastic. Um, it casts just as far. You can retrieve it the exact same ways as you do the, the Swim Trek Max, except that, like I said, this one's just a different look, a little different sound, a little bit different vibrations coming through the water, and it's just another version that's completely different in the lipless crankbait world you could throw at these bass. All right, we're fishing a lipless crankbait. There's pretty much three things, three places I like to fish them. Um, open water, uh, covering flats and things like that. You're just trying to cover water and find a group of fish on a flat. It's hard to beat a lipless crankbait for something like that. Another application is if Say like this is a point right here and there's a little ledge out in front of me. I want to throw this lipless out there. I may try to steady retrieve it at first, but if I don't get a bite and I'm confident that fish will there, I'll let the lipless crankbait hit the bottom and then I'll yo-yo it up and I'll take the slack up and I'll let that bait fall down and I'll yo-yo it up and let it fall back down. A lot of times those fish like when that bait's falling. Um, so you got to experiment between a steady retrieve and then a yo-yo type retrieve. And then I like to just go down the shoreline with it and just cover water and throw it at targets. Uh, but but here we're in open water I'm throwing out on a point here and I'll cast it out and I'll let the thing fall to the bottom then I can just rip it up and kind of let it fall on a semi slack line rip it up let it fall on a semi slack line and that fish will bite it on that fall and then you can burn it a lot of times if the fish are real aggressive and they're scattered around don't be scared to reel this thing fast. Make really long casts with it, and then just burn it in, steady. And sometimes if I feel myself touching the bottom on a flat, I'll give it a little rip like that, or if I find myself in some grass, I could snap it like this and clean, clean the bait off of the grass. So if you're in a lipless crankbait fishing and you're looking for something new, no matter what situation you're in, we got you covered.